I would say that the access to healthcare and affordable medication not only greatly decreases one's quality of life, but also unquestionably reduces one's lifespan. I have three brothers that um, are now deceased because they did not have the ability to get the health care or medications they needed to keep them alive. I, at 55, have outlived three of my five brothers because they could not afford to have the medications they needed to keep them alive and to give them a quality of life. So the lack of access to medication, it actually not only decreases quality of life, but literally kills. So I, I really feel it is critical as a community, as a nation, that we do something to help make medications more affordable. I don't want to see my life snuffed out because I can't access my health care and I, I can't access blood pressure medication or diabetes medication. Um, and I don't want to see that happen for others either. Um, I will say, if I was talking to a politician, if he was a diabetic, doesn't he need his insulin? I don't know, because with my mental illness, I need my depression meds and my anxiety meds. So I guess I'm saying is um, I want to live. That's all. The beginning part of my experience was very stressful because I didn't think I was going to make it. Um, with depression, anxiety, and suicidal thoughts, um, you don't want to do anything with your life. Um, you want to die. Um, after I was able to get my medication, it made a big difference in my life. I mean, it made it difficult. Like I said, I've been um, pretty much high my whole life, and I'm 29 now, and I have seven months, and it's because I was able to get all the medication that was prescribed to me. We're trying to live, and so aren't diabetics. It's the same thing. For a diabetic, insulin is to live. People with mental issues or depression medication and stuff is to live. So I had West Virginia State Medicaid so I could work. It was a program designed for the working disabled. It covered all of my medications. And then when I got a full-time job with the state, I received PEIA and had Medicaid as my secondary. The two injections I received as a trial after the embryo injection started, stopped working, then they cost $13,000 a piece. The insurance stated that they wouldn't cover that. And that was more than I made gross income in a full year. They expected me to pay that. Those injections didn't work, so we switched to another medication. It took four months for PEIA to approve that medication. They fought that medication coverage for four months, which decreased my ability to work. It increased the pain, increased the damage to my joints, and then eventually caused me not to be able to work. And now I've lost my PEIA and I'm back to just Medicaid. I was in a situation where I was suicidal and my only option for treatment at the time was to take part in a clinical trial for a new medication. A lack of treatment probably would have been life-threatening for me at that period in time, and it was that treatment that allowed me to take the next step in building my life, but having to go through that means to get treatment shouldn't be the, the outcome. Treatment should just be the default. 